Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm here to help you stay connected. In this video, I wanted to show you the D-Star setup I have that I run out of my car. Here you can see my mobile bracket, where I have a radio, in this case my D-Star radio, the ID51, next to my cell phone. This uh, bracket I use to put whatever radio I'm using. Usually I have a Yaesu VX6R just for regular analog, but today I'm going to demonstrate the D-Star capabilities. And here, I will scan back over to here. This, and for you, as you've seen from my previous videos, is my battery pack, and this is where I normally keep it. If you take a look in here, I have my battery pack, and there is a Raspberry Pi with the DVAP for the D-Star connection connected to it. I have that all connected up through Anderson power poles for power, and of course the Raspberry Pi, which takes a USB, brings a USB cable over into here, which is what connects into my battery pack. Now for internet access, I have my brick. And the brick, as you see, is a portable Wi-Fi 3G router bridge. So right now it is doing a Wi-Fi bridge to my home network. And if I'm out and about, it switches over to my 3G network. And so I can still keep using the D-Star capabilities. So let's take a quick look and see how it works. So I've got my ethernet cable there, which runs back again into my Pi, and then I go over to my radio, Zero five alpha. and you get the status message saying that I'm linked. Link to XRF005 alpha correctly right now. So again, this is going to my radio, which I have connected to an external antenna. You can see there. Into my Raspberry Pi, which is over there. And then connected through the Ethernet cable back into my brick, which is connected via Wi Fi to a hotspot I have set up in my garage right now, into my network, and then into the network, the D Star network. Now powering that battery pack is my solar panel, which again, you've also would have seen from my previous videos. This is a 30 watt solar panel, which I keep in my front screen or sometimes I just put it up on top of my sunroof, which feeds into the solar controller, which I keep in the console here of the car. As you can see right now, the light is on for charging. I'm going to talk about this more in future videos, but I've made some changes to my amateur radio go kit. And as you can see, in the process of mounting the panels to the top, and I switch my radio around, I still have the same setup with the power supply and the power gate PG40S. And this is connected in through a cable which leads to the front and into the battery. Now, I usually will switch between the solar panels and this, so when I'm parked for a while or parked for the night, I will plug in the power supply into the home AC power, and I'm able to charge the batteries at nighttime when the sun's not shining. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Let's stay connected.